a quick demonstration of the new ADSB recorder that I set up today. It's uh, used with your standard RTL SDR dongle that's uh, connected to my computer right now. So, first thing we'll do, we'll start up the ADSB Sharp decoder, get it running, and we'll click on start. And if you want to, you can uh, go into, uh, you don't need to do this, but uh, I, I just kind of like to make sure everything's doing what it's supposed to do. You can go into uh, Telnet and make sure that the uh, signal is coming through. And so you open up command prompt, open up a Telnet session, and you'll be entering in your uh, local IP address plus the port number for the decoder and there you see the raw data that's starting to uh, come through so that tells us that we've got a, um, a good a good session started through the decoder software so we will close that out and then we will open up the ADSB scope and all of this is free software And uh, I have this all uh, pre-set up before, you know, so this is this is nothing new. So come up here and we'll start the uh, client. And it takes it a few minutes for it to um, start to register. And let's see here. We we will actually show the decoded data as it comes in. So you can see that starting here and already this is starting to populate and uh, my my uh, default location is the Seattle Washington area so that's what we're looking over here you can see the outline of the state of Washington here's the radar scope it's going out um, 50 kilometer uh, increments and uh, see we have one airplane here already um, that's populated showing up on the screen this is all the data here. It's uh, aircraft number three, which is uh, the three over here on the list of track planes. It uh, gives you a lot of identifying stuff about it. Um, excuse me, uh, the uh, tail number is on, the altitude, uh, the latitude and longitude, and its speed and heading. This is all still new to me, so I'm still pretty much learning a little bit about how this works. But uh, there are several really good tutorials that you can find online, uh, including video tutorials, and I will try to post links to those, um, you know, down below the video here, so you'll be able to easily go and find those and set this up for yourself. Anyway, uh, it's pretty easy, uh, pretty straightforward about what it's doing. Um, we'll zoom in here a little bit and give you an idea of what you're seeing on the screen. You can set up the configuration here on the scope itself, uh, including colors, color configuration. So you can choose, for instance, you know what the background looks like. I chose black because I like the classic look of a, um, a a classic radar screen, including the uh, the the outline of the uh, scope crosshairs itself. I like uh, in the in the range ring. I like it in that classic uh, you know black on green on black uh, configuration. And then you can choose the state names and the, the names of your airports. I chose blue for the name of the airports on these. And as you can see right here, this is a um, one of the aircraft icons. It's slowly moving in as it approaches um, uh, SeaTac Airport here. It's just about to head over Boeing Field shortly. And um, it gives you an idea what it looks like when this is zoomed in. It's currently, uh, it, you can see over here, it's currently the only one that's um, actually on the screen itself. So it's the only one that's got uh, fully identifying um, data showing up. So let's zoom back out again and give you another, another better look at this. And uh, it, it's pretty easy to, to set all this up. The, the tutorials I was that I'm going to link to uh, will show you how to come in and do stuff like 
set your network setup and how to um, set your default let um, default receiver location which is very important for you to do if you're going to get this to work for you otherwise I think the default is somewhere in uh, Eastern Europe <laughs> and you probably won't be able to track very well from if you're in the States won't be able to track very well from there and uh, other configurations about the size of your, your the range rings excuse me the uh, the type of airport name you know whether you want the full name like I've chosen and a whole lot of other configurations and stuff. So anyway, I just wanted to show a, a quick little video of this. I just got this started today. Really excited about it. Um, I've discovered that I'm more of an aircraft um, enthusiast than I thought I was. And uh, this is going to go a long way towards entertaining me. Thanks for watching this.